Hello friends, welcome to BFSC Fisheries online class. In today's class, we will be learning about the gear selection. We have to know here why gear selection are essential and how, what are the equation or estimation that we can know what are the gear selection. So, uh, in population dynamics and stock assessment, we have in gear selection the main aim is to give maximum return to the fisherman with minimum effort. So, our aim is for the maximum sustainable yield for in future we have to uh, have a sustainable fisheries and that is why we need some objective like in gear selection we have to estimate uh, the equations we have to follow and to estimate the population of a fishes we have to follow some equation to know or determine the fisheries so first is a uh, definition by Parrish he uh, given that any process that gave rise to differences in the probability of capture among the members of the exploitable body of fish, this is called as selectivity, the uh, selection of fish we usually do. Selection का यहाँ मतलब होता है कि अगर हम लोग कोई fish capture कर रहे हैं तो हमारा main aim होता है कि हमें return ज़्यादा मिले as जो भी हम लोग fishermen जो efforts लगाते हैं उसके comparison में क्योंकि ऐसा है कि cod end में जो भी फिश हम लोग मतलब उसमें जो भी फिश पकड़ी जाती हैं वो उसमें वो उसका अमाउंट जो भी फिशेस पकड़ी जा रही हैं उसका ज़्यादा अमाउंट हो इसके लिए हम लोग मैं शाइज को हम लोग कंसीडर करते हैं वो मेनली डिपेंड करता है कि हम लोग विदिन स्पीसीज या फिर बिटवीन स्पीसीज सेलेक्श फिश को कैप्चर कर रहे हों तो अगर बिटवीन स्पीसीज सेलेक्शन है देन इट मेनली डिपेंड ऑन द बिहेवियर ऑफ द फिशेज वी आर कैचिंग इन द mesh and if we are considering about the within species then we have to know here the age length and the girth and the girth are mainly on the based on the mesh size so we have to know all this and for this there is an equation gillnet selectivity uh, first has given by barno barno in uh, 1972 first given the principle of geometric selectivity which states that if selection depends only on the relative geometry of the fish and misses, then all se uh, selection curves are similar. There are two curves mainly given that is bell shaped curve and the sigmoid curve. And where here we have to know that if we have selection and the geometry of fish, which is the geometry of the age, its length, its girth, तो वो अगर मेशेस पे डिपेंड करेगा तो इसका मतलब ये है कि सारे का सेलेक्शन कर्व सिमिलर होगा चाहे वो कोई भी फिशेस क्यों ना हो ट्रॉल नेट के लिए सेलेक्टिव सेलेक्टिव फॉर लार्ज फिशेस एंड द गिल नेट आर सेलेक्टिव फॉर सर्टेन लेंथ ओनली सो देयर आर सम डिफरेंसेस सो वी हैव टू नो हियर द बेल शेप सेलेक्शन कर्व द इमेज आर सोइंग द बेल शेप सेलेक्शन कर्व एंड द First, the left hand side and the right hand side. The left hand side are showing that fewer fish are retained in the drift net at smaller length, and in the right hand side, fewer fish are retained in the drift net at greater width. So, a greater length. Bell edge uh, shape selection curve are mainly for the fish fixed gear, the gear who are fixed. So, though, uh, we know that uh, there are two types of gear fixed, or, or there is moving gear. So, bell shaped selection curve defines that the width of the selection curve provides the selection range of the gear and the highest point in the curve corresponds to the optimum size of fish caught by the gear. So, here the bell shaped curve is that the fish length is optimum, it is not as much as 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 it is तो ये मेनली कंपलसरी होता है कि वैसे फिशेस का ही कैच हो क्योंकि हम लोग को बाय कैच को रिड्यूस करना साथ में जो फिश स्मॉल है उसको भी रिड्यूस करना कि वो कैच ना हो और बहुत हम लोग को एक ऑप्टिमम लेंथ की फिशेस चाहिए तो इसके लिए सिलेक्शन कर्व है दिया हुआ सिमिलरली सिग्मोइड शेप सिलेक्शन कर्व आदे जो कि सिग्मोइड शेप का कर्व होता है एस शेप का these are also called as asymmetrical curve or S-shaped curve and the gear prevent the escapement of larger one and allows the large one to escape in relation to the size. So there are some differences that uh, the fixed gear, which is fixed gear, 
वो लार्ज फिश के एंट्री को प्रिवेंट करते हैं लेकिन जो स्मॉलर फिशेस होती हैं उसको वो जाने देते हैं ये फिक्स्ड केयर की बात है वही अगर जब मोबाइल केयर होता है जो मूव करते हैं गेयर वो स्मॉलर फिशेस को स्केप करने में हेल्पफुल होते हैं वैसे और जो लार्ज फिश होती है वो मेनली उसमें फंसती हैं तो ये हुई बात एस शेप कर्व की तो ये सिगमोइ शेप का कर्व होगा यहाँ पर इमेज शोन है यहाँ पे L25, L50 और L75 की बात करें तो ऑप्टिमम L75 और L50 होता है जो कि मेनली सेलेक्शन साइज़ है या नाइफ एच पैटर्न पे डिपेंडेंट होता है लॉजिस्टिक कर्व की बात करें दे आर सिंपल एंड सेलेक्टिव टाइम द ट्रॉल गियर आर सेलेक्टिव गियर एंड द इक्वेशन फॉलोज हेयर फॉर द लॉजिस्टिक कर्व इज एस एल इक्वल्स टू वन प्लस एक्सपोनेंट एन एस वन माइनस एस टू एंड मल्टीप्लाई एल हेयर द एस एल इज द नंबर ऑफ फिश ऑफ लेंथ एल इन द कॉर्ड एंड एंड इन द कवर एंड एल इज द मिड लेंथ ऑफ द लेंथ ग्रुप एस वन एस टू आर कॉन्स्टेंट डिटर्मिन बाई लीनियर लिस्ट स्क्वायर एस्टिमेशन और मैक्सिमम लाइकलीहुड एस्टिमेशन फ्रॉम ऑब्जर्व लेंथ फ्रिक्वेंसी फॉर ईच स्पीशीज सो एल फिफ्टी कॉन्सेप्ट here we have to know about the l50 concept means that if we are catching some fishes then 50% of the fish should escape and the 54% are the one which are retained so here we have to know that the small fish which are very small should escape from the um, like trawl net or whatever gill net and the 50% which are of larger size are retained so we have to know l25 and l75 between like l75 minus l25 l50 and it depicts the poor selection axis so main thing is the curve that quickly changes from 0 to 100 percent selection that is optimum selection of l50 and uh, the gill if we are talking about the gill net selectivity so gill net selectivity mainly depend on the wedging gilling so these are some process first uh, how is gill net select the fishes first is mm, snagging snagging is what if fishes are catch in the gill net by the snagging process so mess size should be 100 meter and by snagging is fish are caught by the mouth so mouth are trapped here and the second is the gill means gill means the gill of the fish are trapped in the mesh so it is called gilling similarly wedging and wedging is uh, a fish is held tight around the body by a mesh and is said to be as wedging so these are process snagging gilling wedging and entangling so entangling means uh, some part of the body are uh, trapped in the mesh are called as entangling so it is said to be as entangling or tangling where the fish has not necessarily penetrated a mesh but is caught in the net by teeth maxillary or other projection so these are entangling what are the factor influencing selectivity of gill net so how we can know the, the selectivity of gill net first is the mesh size the netting the gear design and the operational factor so before uh, operating the gill net we have to know something by the uh, like we have to know uh, information collected from the fisherman or the scientist and we have to know about the fish population like species composition distribution abundance seasonal variation bycatch all this we have to know earlier so these are general information which are collected then fishing ground like fish uh, location we are fishing type of fishing vessel used net handling technique duration of the fish trips and the main source for this uh, type of information are the fishermen themselves and the fish landing so these are all and the mesh size where which we are going to talk uh, like if it, it is very small fish so it have maximum girth equal to the perimeter of the mesh and the large fish caught has head girth equal to the perimeter of the mesh so fish between these two sizes are caught and the hanging ratio we have to know the gear design we have to know and the operational factor all this we have to know earlier so these are about the gill net selectivity if we have to estimate the gill net selection the spare and venema are the scientist in 1992 has given to 
estimate the gain net selection. So, so this depends mainly on the length frequency particularly and for this uh, there is an equation y is equal to ln ca divided by cb where ca is fish caught in small mesh net a and cb is fish caught in large mesh net b and the estimation of optimum length of capture where m is equal to l opt divided by sf where sf is the selection factor and here l opt is the min mid length of a commercially significant length group and m is the stressed uh, measure of mass in centimeter so these are all about the gill net so we have to know him the gill net equation is different from the trawl net selectivity so we, if we are to estimate the gill net selectivity and the trawl net selectivity we have to follow different equations so we have to know here all this for the trawl net selectivity the problem in the coordinate that is when mesh get pulled with narrow diamond shape instead of square if we have uh, um, like if it is pulled and then it comes to the diamond shaped instead of square the capture of undesirable species are recognized and uh, in the fishing method and this mainly cause problem to the environmentalist or the fisherman as the uh, our aim is to reduce the bycatch so uh, to solve the problem bycatch reduction grids yeah square mesh panels are used in the trawl net and this allows certain species to escape while returning others so we have to know here how we can solve the problem of this and the mesh size and the shape effects uh, can determine the selectivity of the trawl net so there are some measures or methods of measuring the selectivity of trawl net how we can measure the selectivity of trawl net first is the word coordinate the second one is twin trawl and the third one is trouser trawl, alternate trawl or parallel trawl. So covered coordinate here the main thing is to know that if we are selecting the trawl net and if we are covering the coordinate. So some fishes are caught in the covered coordinate and by this we can estimate the population of the fish we are catching. Similarly, twin trawl net are used where two type of trawl net are mainly used. Uh, if twin trawl net are used, then the selectivity here depend on the twin trawl net and trouser trawl net. Similarly, twin trawl net a standard trawl is divided in two sections by vertical panel and two cordial are attached on each side of the panel. And alternate trawl are identical holes made alternatively similarly parallel trawl are used to know these are method actually to know the population of our fishes so we have to know all this uh, for the selectivity of the trawl net and the uh, equation which mainly gives the selectivity of trawl are fraction retained that is number of fish in the coordinate divided by total number of fish caught both in cover and cordon so this will estimate the fraction of fraction of retained fishes similarly trawl selection equation are given which is denoted by sl we have already studied in the logistic curve all this so this was all about the gear selection why we need to uh, why we need gear selection we have already studied all this and we studied some equation for trawl net and gill net selectivity so this was all for today and this was uh, mainly from uh, apart from the fish population dynamics and stock assessment so thanks for watching and if you like this channel then please do like and subscribe